Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 12th of April 2024. First chart is the US Dollar Index Futures. And this is the level we've been looking at more recently, centred around the 104. The market's had difficulties with this level numerous times in the past. And this week, it's had a pretty serious crack at breaking out above this level. Now, this isn't a confirmed breakout at this point, but price has closed clearly above that level, and that suggests the market will likely be successful. It's still unconfirmed, but it'll likely be successful. And that's put a number of the other markets under pressure, particularly the currencies and the associated markets that are reluctant to break down and are trying to absorb the weakness that is inferred from the strength in this market are the markets that are showing underlying strength. So as we go through, you'll be able to see which markets they are. Okay, E-mini S&P, this is S&P 500 index futures. Now there's a gap up in the background here and it's always a bit awkward when a market's had a good run higher and price gaps up like this bar did to new highs and then doesn't go on with it. And you can see the market's not been able to continue higher at least up to this point. Now, it doesn't mean the market will break down, but you often see markets fail at a certain point after gapping higher with a good run in the background like this. You can see the market did a similar thing back here it gapped up just there to new highs. It did come back and test it, and it did continue on. But it really hadn't had much of a run higher, only a little bit. So it probably wasn't the same as this one, which has been running higher since November last year. And that's many weeks with very little downside and no downside follow through. This market's gapped up to new highs, failed to move higher in response, and it's pulled back to the important level. And if this level gets broken, well, you might have a level through there that you could look at as well. But if the market pushes through those levels, you would really have to worry about a, a complete breakdown and the market pulling back far more deeply. At this point, the market is still holding on. Volume was increased last week to slightly above average and really the thrust lower was very little. It made very little further ground below the previous bars low. So the market's not moving lower with ease, but there is some concerns in the current setup and you should be aware of that. No need to actually sell up any long-term positions. I'm pretty sure that the shorter term traders would have already covered their risk and they'd be waiting for something more obvious to arrive. But just watch this one carefully. Next chart is the US Treasury 10 year note futures. And they also pushed lower this week, pretty much trading the inverse of the US dollar, although this market traded with a mid bar close. So and volume was above average, increased and above average. There was some buying support emerge off the lows this week. And that's interesting. That might suggest that the US dollar may not be just successful and continue higher. And a bit of supply might be drawn out because this market certainly wouldn't be showing a little bit of strength if the consideration was the US dollar was going to moon and just go higher. So interesting, there was some buying support moved in off the lows this week. That would infer either a push higher in response or a test for supply. We'll just see what we get. And I would imagine if the US dollar does just push higher, what was bought this week will be dumped. And in response, you'll get a down bar like that and all the buying this week will be dumped and you'll probably see an increase in volume down here. Copper price futures have really been pushing high with some intent more recently. 
Here's the old lows of the range with a little accumulation zone below that. Here's the mid range through there. And here was the highs of the range. They come across there. Price broke out. It moved into consolidation mode here, which is exactly what you would expect to see. And then price has pushed higher again in response. Now this week, price initially came back and tested for supply, then pushed higher. Supply was drawn out and price pushed lower in response to close about mid bar and not much higher than the previous bar's high. Supply has been drawn out. Volume was very high. You'll probably see a consolidation or at least an attempt to consolidate in response to this. And just how the market does respond will show you how strong or weak the underlying market is. So watch carefully for the response. There has been supply drawn out. Just how the market deals with that will show you just how strong or weak the market is. If the market has to pull back really deeply to recover or it just breaks down, well, it's obviously weak. If the market can consolidate in a relatively narrow range, a shallow pullback that doesn't take very long to recover and then market pushes higher again in response, that would infer a strong underlying market sentiment. So watch the response. Next week should be interesting. Gold price futures have a similar story to the copper price futures. A little bit easier to read. You've got the strength in the background down here, which we mentioned a number of times. You've got a period of consolidation following that. There was an attempt to break out. I've done a whole video on this bar. And then the market did eventually break out. This was the most interesting bar that gave away what was going on here. There was some uncertainty. This was buying for sure on this bar on an increase and above average volume. Next bar up on even higher volume. I come back to test for supply and then a push higher. It was a great setup. Anyway, price broke out. A little period of consolidation just here. This is what you're looking for in that copper price futures where the market just pulled back, narrow spread pullback, an absorption bar, and then a push higher. A shallow and brief consolidation period, and then a push higher shows you just how strong the market is. Now, this market's also drawn out supply this week. The volume suggests it was serious supply, but not as serious as the volume was on the copper price futures, but supply has been drawn out, no doubt. And we need to watch for the response here to get some sort of indication on how strong or weak the market is. A period of consolidation like this would take place in a band sort of through there like that. The market can do that with a relatively shallow pullback that doesn't take very long to complete. And then there's a push higher in response. That would be a really strong response to what's happened. If the market has to pull back far more deeply to recover or back to this line here, there's certainly some weakness in the market and it's not as strong as it might have appeared. So watch for the response in this market. Silver price futures are often the most volatile out of the three markets we look at. And you can see there was a strong breakout here. It wasn't as clear at the time as the gold price futures. They were the leader. The silver price futures were following at that stage. When price actually took off, then this market was on the big catch up. And that's what this volume was here initially. But this market's always more volatile. And this week, supply has been drawn out. Volume is very high. So some of the traders have taken profits up here or have certainly got out of the market for whatever reason. And you're looking at the similar thing with the gold price futures and the copper price futures to some extent, a period of consolidation in response. Now you can see what happened previously, price pushed up and here was the period of consolidation in response. Now you're going to have to wait and see just how far the market pulls back and how long it takes to recover. The depth and duration of the period of consolidation is important. 
and it can help you make important judgments on the relative strength or weakness in the market. So the deeper it pulls back and the longer it takes to recover, the less strong it is and the more shallow it pulls back and the faster it's able to recover, the stronger it is. So watch for the response. Like crude price futures have been moving along pretty nicely, really. Stronger than I expected. We've had this period of almost like bullish absorption here. There was certainly some accumulation in here and price just absorbed its way higher until it really has made an attempt to break out. It pushed past this level with relative ease and that's the next level higher. So it's pretty much moved up to that. And if you have a look at the spreads of the last two bars and their relative volumes, price pushed up with that amount of spread on that volume. Now price came back to consolidate on increased volume this week, just slightly increased, but increased all the same, but spread has narrowed considerably. There's good demand in this market. And when price came back, people came in and supported the market. So spread was a bit more than half, but not much more than half the previous bar spread. And that suggests that there is demand in the market and this market is relatively strong. So watch for the response again next week. If trading conditions are particularly favorable, you may get a test for supply like this. And if trading conditions are more favorable, you may see an attempt to push higher. And this is going to be the important level to watch in the near term. That's 85, 86, 87, 88. That's the important level to watch in the near term. There's likely to be some difficulty at that level. Into the currencies, this is the Euro US dollar currency futures. And you can see this market has traded almost the exact inverse of the US dollar index. That's almost an exact inverse, actually. It's very, very close. Hi. There's the US dollar. We came back and tested for supply below the previous bars closed, pushed up on volume that was increased and slightly above average. Volumes increased, average, it's pushed up and come down. It's almost exact inverse, which I guess you'd expect to some extent. But it looks like a serious attempt to break down, similar to the US dollar index futures. It's not a confirmed breakdown now, but it's a clear break and close below the important level, which in this case is 108, and you would expect it'll be successful. I won't say it will be, but it's an attempt to break down and it's a pretty deep push lower. It'll probably be successful. The next lower level comes through here. So if the US dollar does continue higher, this is probably where this market's going to head. I would look for some sort of consolidation around the 106 level if the US dollar confirms its breakout. British pound currency futures, and they've also made a clear attempt to break down and it'll probably be successful. You've got a level through here that the market will pull back to. It's a fair way down. There is a line that will go through there. So you may see the market attempt to consolidate around that level if the US dollar does break out. It would take a complete failure of the US dollar for this market to be able to recover like this. So we'll see what comes. Watch for the response. And... Aussie dollar currency futures. Out of the three markets, this one looks like it doesn't really want to break down. Volume was actually increased, but the thrust lower was the least of the three. It has closed below previous support. 
but not substantially. So I would just question that. The obvious next level lower comes through here around the 64 level. So if the US dollar does continue higher, I would expect this market to come back to around the 64 level and attempt to consolidate there. Bitcoin futures. Bitcoin futures continues to consolidate around its all-time highs. Now, just so you know where we are, this level here is the highs of the previous range, and this is the all-time highs up here. Price eventually broke down from those levels, and this was the secondary breakdown line. Price broke down through that level eventually, and it did try to consolidate in this zone through here. And that went on for a, quite a period of time before price broke down again and then was trading down around here at these levels. Now, as we followed it through, and it's been a really nice chart to read, clear indications of how the market is dealing with all the different levels. You can see the market spent quite some time absorbing supply, gapping up and pushing through creating a new level of consolidation, then a push up to the next level, one week consolidation, a push up to the next level, a push up to the next level with a little test for supply following it. And now we've got a good period of consolidation here. Now, these two bars look a bit weak, but they are on relatively low volume, low and below average volume. I would suggest that trading conditions aren't favourable for the push higher right at this point of time. There is a little bit of uncertainty, but selling pressure isn't particularly high. So I wouldn't expect the market's going to break down here. This is the market absorbing supply and preparing for another push higher, or at least an attempt to push higher. So just wait for trading conditions to become more favourable. This is almost like marking time, waiting for the right time to arrive. Market pushes up and then consolidates in response. Market pushes up again, market consolidates in response. There's been no serious break below the previous bar's low and the push above the previous bar's high was a half-hearted attempt at most on below average volume. It wasn't a serious attempt. So this is the market moving sideways, absorbing supply and consolidating, waiting for trading conditions to become more favourable and then I expect there'll be another attempt to push higher. That's what this market's inferring at the moment. There's not much weakness being seen. So be a little bit patient here. Just wait for the timing to be right. Back to the US dollar index futures just quickly. The important level for a long time has been around this 104 level. Clear attempt to break out this week and the market has closed clearly above the important level of 104. So it will probably be successful. It would take a complete breakdown now like this for it to fail. Don't think that's gonna happen. There may be a little period of consolidation in response but I expect it will take place right up high in the range. It'll be a brief and shallow pullback to consolidate. And if that's the case, this market will be well placed to attempt to move higher again in response. I expect there will be some supply to the left here. Come through here. So you'll probably find there may be some difficulties here centered around the 106. If the market is able to get past all that, there's probably a level through there. That's still the 106. If it gets over 106 and starts to move more freely, I think there's not much resistance in the near future after that. So this 106 level, 106 and a bit, will be really important to watch. And the higher the US dollar goes, the more pressure some of these associated markets will find themselves under. You know, that's the copper price futures and we saw supply was drawn out. That's possibly partly in response to the strength in the US dollar this week. Gold price futures, same thing. Silver price futures, same thing. 
crude was consolidating anyway, um, and it didn't really get very much affected by the strength in the US dollar this week. So that was perhaps a sign of underlying strength for that market. All the currencies were under pressure because of the strength in this market. And in particular, watch the markets that are least affected by the strength in the US dollar because they're the strongest markets of the three metals. That was the gold price futures for sure. They responded the least weakly in response to the strength in the US dollar. Copper was more affected. Silver's always volatile, and that was more affected. And crude was hardly affected at all. So gold and crude were the two strongest in response to that. And just finally, keep an eye on the equities over here. They gapped up to new highs and haven't been able to see much follow-on at all in response. And they're pulling back and consolidating at the moment. And it's always a bit of concern when that happens. So just watch what happens there as well. Okay. Thanks for your time. See ya.